in this tutorial we are going to make the simple website template okay here i am having the snap bar inside the snap bar i am having one logo and here i am having this list items and finally i am having one search box now below this i am having another section inside that section on left side i am having some content some paragraph and one button and on my right side i am having one login form okay so that whenever i log in i'll be redirected to this website okay this is just a template i have just created for desktop version if you want for mobile version as well then let me know i'm just going to upload that one as well but this is the desktop version template i'll be uploading more videos on desktop version templates so that it will be useful for you to create your website templates okay now let's get started with this now you can see here i'm having this one now this icons i got from font awesome and here i'm having this search box here i'm having one thought below this i'm having one paragraph this join us button and this login button is having the same classes so i have applied the same stylings for that here i am having two input fields here i have this forgot password finally login or login using if you don't know the password or you can login using okay this is just a template if you want you can add the interactivity to this template using javascript okay so let's get started and let's do the basic setup for this one now here i have already created one folder modern template inside this i have this images folder inside this images here i am having one image okay this will be my background image I'll just close this one. Now you can see inside this I'm having this background image and for this I have added overlay. Okay, now I'm just going to open this one in. I'll just come to folder. Now here I'll just right click on this and open with code. Okay, I'm just going to open that one. Now inside this folder I'm having images folder. Inside this I'm having only one image. Now here I'll just create one file index.html. And I'm just going to create another file. I'll just write here style.css. Now I'll just close this one. Now we are going to write the code completely from the scratch. First I'll be doing the basic setup. I'll just write this boilerplate. I'll just change the title modern template modern template 1. Now below this I'll be linking CSS file. I'll just write here style.css. Now I'll just come to Chrome. I'll just open. I'll just search for font awesome CDN. I'll just click on this first link and from here I'm just going to copy that link so that we can use icons. I'll just copy this first link and below this I'm just going to write one comment I'll just write here font awesome and below this I'm just going to paste that one and from here till here I am just going to remove okay if you want you can keep but I'm going to remove that they are using because nobody should change the content inside this website so they are just using that one if you want you can keep or you can just remove that one when you're making projects for yourself then you can remove when you're making projects for your business level then you can't remove if you're using this one next i'll just come to google fonts i'll just click on this now from here i'm just going to select some fonts i'll just select here poppins i'll select this one and from inside this poppins i'm just going to select this one light i'll just select this light 300 browse fonts and here i'm just going to search for roboto and i'll just select this roboto slap and from here i'm just going to select this style next i'm just going to search for stylish font family i'll just remove this i'll be writing here stylish i'll just select this one and from here i'm just going to select this one it's already selected now from here i'm having this you can either link or you can import i'm just going to import i'll just copy this entire thing and inside style.css i'm just going to import that one and also from here i'm just going to copy all this font family and below this i'm just going to paste that one later on i'll be using this as of now i'm just going to comment this now we are done with this basic setup now inside this website i'm just going to close this and also i'll be closing this now i have just captured this image and here i'll be explaining you i'll just open this rectangle now from here this entire thing i have wrapped inside one header okay i'll just write this one okay this entire thing including this box and this box also belongs to this header itself now for this now this one okay this is my first child of this header first child of the header and this entire thing is the second child of the header now this box this second child will be including this first box and this second box i'll just explain you again okay now this i have wrapped inside one header header component inside this header this is my first child of header and then this is the second child of header okay these 
these two are the children of header inside this first child first i am having this logo second i am having this list items that is nav and third finally i am having this nav bar section okay inside this first child we are having three more child logo this list items and this section okay search bar section now inside this second child of header first we are having this one okay left part and then we are having this right part okay there are two children inside the second child of header now we are going to design this one and then you will understand this okay i'm just going to remove this entire thing now first we are just going to focus on the first child okay this entire first child we are going to focus then later on we are going to come to second child now below this body i'll just write one comment i'll just write here main section header below this i'm just going to create this header now inside this header first i'm just going to focus on first child so for first child i'm just going to create nav and for this nav i'll just give the class name as navbar above this i'm just going to write one comment i'll just write here first child first child of header now inside this navbar i'm having three more child okay this is my first child this is the first child this is the second child and finally this is the third child okay inside this navbar we are having three more child so here first i'm just going to write this anchor tag and inside this anchor tag i'll just give the class name as navbar logo and here i'm just going to write this hash i'll just come here and from here i'll just copy this one i'll copy this and here okay let me just type that one i'll just write here learn and grow now below this this is the first child now second child is our list item so i'll be creating ul and for this ul i'll just i'll just give the class name as navbar list inside this navbar list you can see here first i'm having this logo first i'm having this icon then i'm having this text again icon then text again icon then text so for that here i'll just create li inside this li first i just want icon so here i'm just going to write this and for this i'll just give the class name i'll just write here fa okay these are font awesome icons so i'm just writing here fa yes and i want home icon so i'll be writing here fa hyphen home i'll just close this now inside this i'm just going to write here home i'll save this i'll just copy this path and here i'm going to paste that one now you can see i'm having this home icon here i'm having this logo here so i'll just write here font awesome icons i'll just open this first link now here you will be having plenty of icons some are free to use so you can use that icons now i'll be searching for address cart now here i'm having some icons okay now this pro you have to pay now without pro you can just select that one i'll just select this first cart and this you will be having this html code i'll just copy this one and here i am just going to copy the same line and instead of this icon i'll just remove this instead of this i'm just going to paste that one and here i'll just write about i'll save this i'll refresh okay i'll refresh this one now here i'm having this about and home now i have already copied the code so as of now i'm just going to remove and whatever i'm having i'm just going to paste that one okay i'm having here all the five icons okay you can do the same thing you can just go and copy the code from font awesome icons and you can just paste that one okay let me just format the document now here i am having all the icons i have done the same thing i have just copied and pasted the icons and here i have just written list items i'll save this i'll just come here i'll refresh this one now here i am having all the five icons now our final last child is this search search bar now below this ul i'll just create one div and for this div i'll just give the class name as navbar search inside this first i'm just going to create input field and for this type text and name and id as of now i'm just going to remove i don't need that one and instead of this i'm just going to add this placeholder is equal to search now below this i'm just going to write one more icon i'll just write here i i'll be writing this class fas and also i need fa search i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here i'm having this input field and here i'm having this search icon 
now first we are going to apply styling for the first child of header and then we are going to create this second part first we are going to do this first part styling then we are going to do this one now i'll just come to style.css now here i have already imported some google fonts now below this first i'll be writing this one star and here padding 0 okay by default all the elements will be having some padding and margin i don't need that one so i'm just going to remove that so i'm just giving padding to be 0 and also i'm going to give margin 0 and box sizing to be border box because whatever padding and margin i give that should be contained in the width itself it should not take extra width for that particular element i'll save this I'll come here now if I refresh this one now all the elements whatever that default padding and margin they will be having that will go okay and and here I'm having zero padding and zero margin now below this I'm just going to create one CSS variable we'll be creating like this colon root inside this I'll just write this one okay I'm just going to create one variable and for this I'll just give the color as yellow now because here inside my project I have used yellow color everywhere suppose if I want to change it to orange then I just have to change there and rest all places it is going to change okay later on we are going to see that example as well now here I am having I have just created one CSS variable I will just come to index.html now from here I am just going to copy this header and inside this I am just going to paste that one now for this let me just give one background color I will just write here background color let me just give this aqua I'll refresh this now this is my header which is having this background color and height whatever content I'm having here that particular height it is taking but width it is taking complete hundred percent so for that I'm just going to increase the height height I'll just give here hundred view height I'll save this I'll refresh this one now you can see I'm having this hundred view height now next we are just going to style our nav bar I'll just come here I'll copy this navbar class and here I'm just going to paste that one now all the content now this navbar is having three children first is my logo this logo second this list second is this list item and third is this search bar okay here all are in vertical row now I want them to display in horizontal so for that I'm just going to give here display to be flex now once I give this one all the content all the children's will come in horizontal row okay this is the first child this is the second child and this is the third child now next I just want to give her justify content I will be giving her justify content to be space between now once I give this one now whatever space I am having at the end that will be divided between this elements now here I will be getting this output and also I am going to give one more property I will just give her align items to be center align items to be center so that my content will be aligned properly I will save this I will refresh this one now, now this logo and this search bar has aligned properly now for this let me just give one background color background color let me just write here pink I'll save this now you can see this is my nav bar which is having this background color now for this I'm just going to give some padding padding is nothing but giving space from inside padding 1 M top and bottom and left and right I'm just going to give here 0 I'll refresh this one now you can see padding 1 M on top and bottom left and right I have given 0 so that is not been changed only top and bottom it has given the padding of 1 M I'll just come to index.html now first we are going to style this navbar logo I'll copy this one and here I'm going to paste that one now for this I'm just going to increase the font size font size I'll just give here 1.5 rem I'll save this and now you can see here the font size has been increased next I'm just going to change the color I'll just write here color and here I'm just going to use this CSS variable here I'll just write this main color okay now this yellow color will be applied here now here if you just see the output you can see that has been changed to yellow color now next I'm just going to remove that text line so here I'll be giving text decoration to be none I'll save this and now if you see that line whatever I was having that underline has gone now this has been stuck here on left side so I just need some spacing so I'm just going to give here margin left margin left of 2m now once I give this margin left margin is nothing but giving space from outside so that will be applied now here I'll be having some margin you can see after before this I'm having some margin now for this I'm just going to give one more property that is nothing but text transform text transform to be uppercase now all the letters will be changed to uppercase I'll refresh this one now you can see all the letters has been changed to uppercase now next we are going to style this nav list 
I'll just come here. I'll come to index.html. I'll copy this navbar list and below this I'm just going to paste that one. Now for this all the content whatever I'm having here that I want in horizontal row. So first we are going to give this display to be flex. I'll just write that one display to be flex. I'll just refresh this. Now you can see all the content has come in horizontal row. Now this dots I don't want it should be displayed. So for that I'm just going to give here list style type to be none. Now once I give this that dots whatever we are having that will be removed. I'll just increase the font size. I'll just write here font size font size of 1.1 rem. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see the font size has been increased. Now next I'm just going to style the list items. Now inside this UL I'm having this list items. I'm just going to style that one. I'll just copy this and here I'm going to paste and inside this I just want to style the list items. Now all the content are stuck to each other. You can see all the content is stuck to each other. So for that I'm just going to add some margin. I'll be writing here margin right of 1M. I'll save this. Now if I refresh this one now you can see I have margin right of 1M and also I'm just going to change the color. I'll just write the color color as white. And now if I just refresh this one now you can see the color is being changed and here I'm having this white color. Now we are just going to style this navbar icons. I'll come here. I'll come to index.html. Okay. Now here I have added this navbar icons classes for all the icons. Okay. I'm just going to copy this class and here I'm going to paste that one. Now for this I'm just going to change the color. Color I'll be using the CSS variable. I'll be writing this main color. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see the color of the icons has been changed. Now for this I'm just going to add some margin right. I'll copy this one and here I'm going to paste and instead of this 1M I'll just write here 0.5M. I'll save this. Now if I refresh this one now you can see I got margin right of 0.5M and also I'm just going to increase the size. I'll just write here font size font size to be 1.2 rem. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now font size of icons is been increased. Next we are going to work on this search bar. Later on I'm just going to remove all the background colors from here. I'll come to index.html. I'll just copy this navbar search and here I'm going to paste that one. Now for this first I'll be giving display to be flex so that whatever flex basis I give that will be applied to input field and button. I'll just write here display display to be flex. I'll save this. Now if I just refresh this I will not be having any effect because by default input elements on this icons are inline elements. So they are next to each other. Or let me just give one background color. I'll just give one background color background color. Let me just give this one. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one now. Okay background color is not visible. Let me just give orange color. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now here I'm having this background color. It's not visible because my content my input field and this button is here. So it's not visible. Now next I'm just going to add some margin. I'll just come here. I'll copy this margin right and here I'm going to paste. I'll just close this instead of this 0.5. I'll just give it 2M. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now here you can see I'm having some margin. Margin I already told you it is nothing but giving space from outside. So I got margin right of 2M and also I'm just going to increase the width. I'll just give here width. Width I'll be giving here 18 percentage. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now it has taken width of 18 percentage. Now for this I'm just going to give another property that is nothing but border radius. Border radius I'll just give here 20 pixel. I'll save. I'll refresh this one. Now the border radius is 20 pixel and the corners has been rounded. Now next I'm just going to style the input field inside this navbar search. I'll paste that one here. Inside this navbar I'm just going to style this input field. So here I'll be writing this one. I just want to style the input field. Now for this input field le first let me just give here flex. Flex I'm just giving going to give here 0 0.9. 0 0.9 is nothing but 90% of this 100%. Okay, now this is the parent and this is the child. Now this child will be having complete 100% of the parent. So out of 100%, I'm just giving here 90% for the input field. 
I'll refresh this one. Now my input field will take complete 90% and rest 10% will be given for this search bar. Next I'm just going to give padding, padding of 0.5m. Padding is nothing but giving space from inside. I'll refresh this. Now you can see I got padding of 0.5m. Now I'll just give border radius. I'll copy this and here I'm going to paste. Now if you see the, here now all the four sides I am getting this border radius. I don't need this one. I need only on this two sides. So for that instead of giving like this I will just remove this one. Instead of giving border radius like this I am just going to give like this. I will just write here border. Border top left radius. Border top left radius to be 20 pixel and in the same way border bottom. I will just write here border bottom left radius to be 20 pixel. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now only this side I'm having that side I'm not having any border radius. So the output will be like this. Now next I don't need that border and radius. So I'm just going to remove that one. So I'll just write here border border to be none and also outline to be none. I'll save this. And now if I refresh that border and outline has gone and here I am having this border radius. Now border radius if I just explain you here. I will just open this new. Now here this is our this is uh, suppose imagine this is our image. Now this part now this part is border top this is left side so border top left. So this will be border top right and this will be bottom bottom right and this will be bottom left. So this is how we are just going to use like this. Okay, This is how we are going to write this top left. Top left means this side. This side. This one. Again bottom left is this one. So we are just writing. I just want these two corners to be circled. So I am just giving these two sides. Now next I will be styling this icon. Inside this navbar search I just want to style the icon. So here I will be writing this icon. Now next I just have to give here flex to be 0.1. I will paste that one here. Instead of 0.9 I will just give here 0.1. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now it has taken 0.1 that is nothing but 10% of that 100%. And for this also I am just going to give the same padding. I will copy this and here I am going to paste that one. I will refresh this. Okay, Now here I am having this proper output. Here I am having this input field and here I am having this search bar. Now in place of this orange color, I am just going to give this CSS variable color. I will just write here main color. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now here I am having this output. Now we are almost done with our header. I am just going to remove this background colors. I will just remove this background color. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now you can see I am having this header but it is not visible because still I have not added background image. So for that inside this header, I am just going to add background image. I will just write that one background image. I will just write this URL. Inside this I will be passing this images path. And here I am having one image. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now you can see I am having this background image and all the header is been displayed. Okay, Whatever stylings I have given that is been displayed. Now still we are just going to add some more properties for this. Now by default it is not repeating. I will just again I am just going to write here background repeat to be re no repeat. Okay, So that my image will not repeat in my smaller screen devices. Now it is not going to repeat in my smaller screen devices. Now next I am just going to give background size. Background size to be cover. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now it will take cover. Okay, Now, now my background size is cover and height is 100 view height and with this 100 percentage. Now I just want some overlay on this. So here I will be adding linear gradient. Linear gradient inside this I am just going to pass this one RGBA. I will be passing black color. I will just write here opacity as 0.4. I will just separate using comma. Again I will be passing this black color. And opacity I am just going to give here 0.8. And here I will just separate using comma. And here I am just going to pass this image URL. I will refresh this one. Now you can see I am having this overlay on this image. Now we are done with our first child of this one. Okay, First child of our header. Now next we are going to style this second child. Now inside index.html. Now this is our first child. This entire nav. 
now below this nav i'm just going to create one comment i'll just write here second child now before moving to second child here if i just come here now you can see for input field i have not given this background color but in my demo project i have this background color as yellow so first we are just going to change this background color so inside style.css for this input field i'll just come down okay for this input field i'm just going to give background color background color i'll be using this variable and here i'm just going to give this main color i'll save this now if i refresh this one now you can see the input field is yellow and here i am having this output okay now this both are same now next we are going to design this second child okay now inside this second child okay now this is our second child i'll just change the color now inside this second child this will be the first child that is left part and this will be the second child that is right part now we are just going to design this one first we are going to write html code and then later on we are just going to apply stylings for this i'll just come to index.html below this comment i'll just create one div and for this div i'll just give the class name as header body inside this container i'm having two child left child and right child so i'll be creating that one div dot i'll just write here header body left okay you can give any class names and below this i'm just going to create the same thing i'll just create another div and for this div i'll just give the class name as header body right i'll just write it here i'll just write here right okay now this header body is having two children header left and header right now inside left body you can see inside left body first i am having this first i am having this heading second i am having this paragraph and third i am having this button inside this container totally i am having three children heading paragraph and button i'll come here now inside this first child first i'll just create h1 and for this i'll just give the class name as header title inside this i'll just come here i'm just going to copy this entire text and here i'm just going to paste that one now if you notice here for forget for remember and for learn i have yellow color i am just going to wrap this three words inside one span tag i'll just come here now here before this i'm just going to create this span tag i'll just copy this forget i'll cut from here and here i'm going to paste that one again this one rem forget remember and learn again here i'm going to create one span tag inside this span tag i'll just copy this and here i'm going to paste and finally here i'm just going to write span tag i'll just copy this learn cut and here i'm going to paste i'll save this i'll come to my project i'll refresh this one now here i am having this heading it's not visible because i am having this background color but my text is in black color so it's not visible but when i select this one here i am having this heading now below this i'm just going to create the paragraph below this h1 i'm just going to create paragraph for this i'll just give the class name as header description inside this i'll just write here lorem 10 i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see here i am having this paragraph now next finally i'm just going to create the button i'll just come down and here i'll just create button and for this button i'll just give the class name as header btn inside this button i'll just write here join us i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here i'm having this output before that let me just come to universal selector and here as of now i'm just going to write the color color i'll be writing here white okay so that my text will be applied to all the website and the color will be visible now here i am having this heading here i am having description and here i have this join us button now we are just going to apply some stylings for this before that we are just going to create right child inside this right child first i am having this form i'll just come here inside index.html i'll format the document now inside header body this is the first child header body left and this body ends here okay this one now we are just going to work on this right child which is having which is containing the form now here first let me just write one h2 and for this i'll just give the class name as header login details inside this i'll just write here login here i'll refresh this one now here i am having this login here okay now below this h2 i'm just going to create one form and for this form i'll just give the class name as header form 
okay this action i don't need i'm just going to remove this action as of now action we will be using when you are using php now inside this form first i'm just going to create one div okay you can see inside this form i am having this icon and here i'm having this input field so i'm just going to wrap that inside one container i'll just tell you now this is wrapped okay this is this one thing is wrapped in one div container and again this content is wrapped in another div container so we are just going to create that one now inside this form i'm just going to create one div and for this div i'll just give the class name as header details inside this first i'm having one icon i'll just write this class name fas okay you can just go to font awesome library and you can copy this icon i'll just write here user alt now below this icon i'm just going to create one input field and for this input field i'm just going to add one placeholder placeholder i'll just write here enter your username i'll save this i'll refresh this one now below this login you can see here i'm having this icon and here i'm having this input field in the same way i'm just going to create for password okay this password i'll just copy this entire diff container and below this i'm just going to paste and instead of this one i'll just remove this icon and instead of this i'm just going to write here fa hyphen lock and also i'll just write here enter your password and here also i'm just going to change it to password i'll save this i'll refresh this one now below this i'm having this lock icon and password next i'm having this forgot password and finally i'm having this login button below this div container i am going to create another div for this div i am not going to give any class inside this i am just going to create one paragraph and i'll just give the class name as password forgot or something password forgot inside this i'll just write here forgot password now below this i am just going to create one button i'll just give the class name as header header btn and inside this i am just going to write here login this class name for this button and for this button i have given the same class name because same stylings has been applied okay now this is the third child okay inside this form i am having this first div container which is having the icon and this input field in second field i am having the password this icon and this input field and in third field i am having this forgot password and login button okay now we are done with this forgot password and login button next we are having this section so below this div container i'll be creating one more div and inside this div i'll just create one h2 and for this h2 i'll just give the class name as i'll just write here header new account okay you can give any class name inside this i'll just write here or and also i'm just going to write here login using i'll save this i'll refresh this one now or and login is in the same line so for that after login after or i'm just going to add here break now if i refresh this one now here i'll be having or login using now after that we are having this icons google facebook and twitter so for that below this h2 i'm just going to create one div and for this div i'll just give the class name as header login icons inside this i'm just going to create icons i'll just write this one fab dot fa google i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here i am having this google in the same way i'm just going to create for facebook and twitter i'll just write here facebook and here i'm just going to write here twitter i'll save this now if i refresh this one here i'm having google facebook and twitter now below this i'm having one hr this is the div container for this and this is the div container which is wrapping h2 and this div below this div container i'll be writing hr i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here i'm having this hr line now below this i'm having this create account and sign up button now below this hr i'm just going to create another div and inside this div i'm just going to create paragraph and for this paragraph i'll just give the class name as header create inside this i'm just going to write this one create account below this i'm just going to create one anchor tag i'll just write here hash and also i'm just going to give the class class i'll be giving here header sign up 
and text I'll just write here sign up. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now here I'm having this create account and sign up. Okay, we are done with this basic HTML structure. Now we are going to apply stylings for this. Before that, let us understand again. Now here, this is the second child header body. Now this child is wrapped inside this header. Now inside header, I'm having this first child nav and second child is the div container, which is having this two child header body left and header body right. Now inside header body left, I'm having one heading. I am having paragraph and I am having button okay on this left side this side now next in this side first I have just written heading login here then second I have created one form inside this form this is one diff container which is having the username and icon second in this diff container I am having the password and icon in this diff container I am having forgot password and login details and here again I am creating one more diff container inside this first I am having this login using Again, I have wrapped these three icons inside one div container. Now, this div container is the child of this div container. Now, below this, I'm having one HR line. Below HR line, again, I have created one div container. Inside this, I have just written one paragraph and here anchor tag. Now, this is our output. Now, we are just going to apply stylings for this. And also, we just have to change this search icon color. I'll just come here. Inside style.css, I'll just come down. Let me just write here color. Color I will be light, writing here black. I will refresh this one. Now here my search icon is visible. Now next we are going to apply stylings for our header body. Inside style.css here I am just going to write the comment. I will just write here header body section. Below this I will just come to index.html. I will just copy this header body class and here I am going to paste that one. Now for this first I will be giving background color. Background color let me just write here pink. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now here I am having this output background color that is pink. Now for this you can see from top I don't have any spacing. So for that I am just going to give margin. Margin I will be giving 3m from top and bottom and left and right 0. Now if I refresh this one you can see from top I got margin and from bottom also I got margin because I don't have any content at the bottom so that margin is not visible but from top and bottom I got margin of 3m and left and right 0. Now inside this header body section I am having two children this is the first child header body left and this is the second child header body right and they are in vertical now I want in horizontal row so for that I will just write here display. Now if I refresh you can see both the content have come in horizontal row. I will come to index.html. I will just copy this first child header body left and here I am going to paste that one. Now for this I am just going to give the width, width as 40 percentage and also one background color. Background color let me just give this one. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now first child is taking 40 percentage and the background color is been applied. Now for this I just want some content okay whatever space I am having here that space I should be dividing between this and this one. So for that for the parent here I am going to give justify content to be space between. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now here I am having this output okay we are having many values here instead of space between let me just write here around. Now if I refresh this one that space whatever I was having at the end that will be divided between this elements. Now let me just remove this color okay from here I will be removing this color. I will refresh this one now here you can see my output is visible. I am going to give one more property here I will just give align items to be center. Once I give this one this will be aligned properly now you can see here I am having this output and this is my form. And also I am just going to give one more property flex wrap to be wrap because in small screen devices when you are writing code in media queries that is going to wrap itself once you increase the width. I will come to index.html I will just copy this header title and here I am going to paste that one. Now for this I am just going to change the font family. I will just copy this stylish font family and here I am going to paste that one. I will refresh this one. Now you can see the font family has been changed for this heading. Now for this I am just going to increase the font size. Font size I will just write here 2.8 rem. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now you can see the font size has been increased. And also I am just going to give font weight. Font weight I will just give here bolder. 
I will refresh this one. Now the font weight has been increased. Now next I am just going to style this span tags. I will just copy this span and here I am going to paste that one. Now for this only I am just going to give the color. Color I will be using this. I will just write here main color. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now for this forget for remember and for learn the yellow color is been applied. I will come to index.html. I will copy this header description class for paragraph. And here I am going to paste that one. Now for this I am just going to decrease the font size. I will just write here font size of 0.9 rem. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now you can see the font size has been decreased. Now for this I am just going to give this font family. Poppins font family. I will copy this and here I am going to paste that one. I will just come to index.html. I will just copy this header btn. And here I am going to paste that one. Now for this first I am just going to give padding. Padding is nothing but giving space from inside. So top and bottom I will just give here 0.8m. And left and right I will just give here 0.3m. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now you can see for this button for and for this login button the styles has been applied. Because I have just given the same class. Now for this I am just going to add some margin as well. Margin is giving space from outside. Top and bottom 1m. Left and right 0. I will refresh this one. Now you can see top and bottom I got 1m of margin. Now for this I am just going to give some background color. I will just write here background color. Background color is nothing but I will be using this one variable main color. I will save this. Now if I refresh this one you can see the background color is been changed. And for this I am just going to give some border radius. I will come down. Here I will be writing border radius. Border radius to be 20 pixel. And instead of this 0.3 I will just change it to 3m. I will refresh this one. Now here I am having this output. Border radius has been increased. Now whenever I click on this I don't want this border and this outline. So for that I am just going to give here border to be none. Border none and also outline to be none. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now here I am having this border none and outline none. And also for this header description and for this one I am just going to change the color. I will just come here. Let me just uncomment this one. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now here I am having this output. From here I am just going to remove this background color. We are done with our first child. I will just remove this background color. I will refresh this one. Now here we are having this output. And also I am just going to remove this color. Instead of this I will just write here black. I will refresh this. Okay now this is my container which is having this first output. Okay now we are done with this. Now for this button I am just going to change the color. I will just come here. Now here I will be writing the color. Color I will just change it to black. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now here I am having this output. We are done with our left child. Now we are just going to style this form. Okay now we are going to create this kind of form. I will come to index.html. I will just copy this header body right. And here I am going to paste that one. Now for this first I am just going to give background color. Background color let me just give this one. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now here I am having this form. Let me just give another color. I will be giving here red. I will refresh this one. Okay, Now this is my form which is having this output. Okay, Background color as red. Now for this I am just going to increase the width. Width I will just give here 30 percentage. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now you can see the width has been increased to 30 percentage. And also I am just going to give some padding. Padding of 0.3m. Okay, 0.3m on all the four sides. I will refresh this. Now you can see 0.3m has been added on all the four sides of this form. And also I will be adding box shadow for this. Box shadow I will just give some values here. I will be giving here 1 pixel horizontal, 1 pixel vertical, 2 pixel blur. And here I will be using this one variable. And inside this I am just going to pass this main color. I will refresh this. Now you can see this box shadow. I will just increase the size. Now you can see this box shadow is visible. Okay, This box shadow around this form. Now once we are done with this, I will just come here. I will come to index.html. I will just copy this header login details. And here I am going to paste that one. I will just increase the font size. Font size of 2rem. I will save this. 
I will refresh this one. Now you can see the font size has been increased and also I am just going to change the font family. I will just come here. I will copy this stylish font family and here I am going to paste that one. And now if I refresh this one, the font family has been changed and also I am just going to give a text align. Text align to be center. Save. Refresh. Now you can see the text has come in the middle. Now once we are done with this, now below this we are having diff containers. I will come to index.html and from here I am just going to copy this header details class. In this we are having this icon and input field. So here I am just going to paste that one. Now for this first I will be giving here display to be flex. Once I give display flex, I can use flex properties. I will refresh this. Now display flex has been added for this diff container which is having this icon and input field. For this, I will be adding one more property, align items to be center because that will be aligned properly. I will refresh this. Now, this icon and this input field is aligned properly. And also, I am just going to add some margin. Margin, I will be adding 1m from top and bottom and left and right 0 because both the diff containers, both the input fields are stuck. Now, if I refresh, you can see here I am having margin of 1m on top and bottom and left and right, I do not have anything. I have just given here 0. And here, I am just going to give here border bottom border bottom one pixel solid and I'll just give the color as light gray. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see I got this border light gray color. Inside this header details I'm having this icons FAS and FAS class. So here I'll just copy this class and here I'm going to paste that one. I'll just write here FAS class. Now for this I'm just going to give color. Color I'll be giving this one. I will give some margin, margin right of 1m because that input field and icons are stuck. You can see as soon as I refresh, I got margin right of 1m and also I am just going to increase the font size, font size 1.1 rem. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now the font size has been increased and here I am having this output. Now next I am just going to style the input field. Inside this header, I will just paste that one. I just want to style the input field. Now for this input field, I will just give the flex, flex as 1. I just want it to take complete whatever width I am having that it should take. Now for this, I am just going to give some padding, padding of 0.5m. I will refresh this. Now you can see I got 0.5m padding on all the four sides. Now for this, I am just going to give border, border to be none and also outline to be none. I will save this. Now if I refresh, you can see that border and outline has gone. I don't want this background color. So for that, I am just going to give here background color to be transparent. I will save this. Now if I refresh this one, now you can see the background color is transparent and here I am having this output. Now you can see all the content has stuck on left side, right, bottom and left. So here for this header right, I will just come here. Now for this header right, I have just given padding of 0.3 M. Instead of 0.3, I will just give here 3m. I will refresh this one. Now here I am having this output. Now once I get this padding, I am done with this input fields. When I type this one, I am getting this white color. I will just come here. Now next we are just having this one. I will just copy this. And here I am going to paste that one. And for this, I am just going to give text align. I will just write here. Text align to be right. I will save this. Now this forgot password will come on right side. I will refresh this. Now here I am having this forgot password. Now next we are just going to style this one. I will just come to index.html. I will copy this one header new account. And here I am going to paste that one. Now for this first I am just going to give a text align to be center. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now my text has come in the middle. Now for this I am just going to add some margin. Top and bottom 1m, left and right 0. Now if I refresh this one, now you can see I got margin top and bottom of 1m and left and right 0. Now we are going to style this icons. I will come to index.html and from here I am just going to copy this icons class. Okay, this one I am just going to copy this and here I will be pasting that one and inside this I am having this icons FAB FAB. Now this icon is having the same stylings as whatever we have given for this icons. So here I am just going to separate using comma, here I am just going to paste that one. I will refresh this, now you can see the color is being changed, the font size is being changed. 
now for this i'm just going to increase some font size you can see the font size has been increased and also i'm just going to give some padding padding zero top and bottom left and right 0.5 m i'll refresh this now here i'm having some padding for this now i just want all the icons in the middle so i'm just going to copy this parent and here for this i'm just going to give a text align to be center i'll save this i'll refresh this one now all the icons will come in the middle and also from bottom i need some spacing so for that i'm just going to give here margin bottom margin bottom 1m i'll save i'll refresh this one now margin bottom of 1m i got i'll just copy this class and here i'm going to paste that class and for this first i'm just going to give text align to be center i'll refresh this one now you can see the text has come in the middle now for this i'm just going to give some margin margin is nothing but giving space from outside margin of 0.5 m on all the four sides i'll refresh this now you can see i got margin of 0.5 m and also i'm just going to increase the font size font size i'll just give 1.1 rem i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see the font size has been increased next i'm just going to style this one i'll just copy this here i'm going to paste that one now for this first i'm just going to give the color color i'll be using this one variable and here i'll just pass here main color i'll just change it to capital c i'll save this one now if i refresh this now you can see the color is been changed and also i'm just going to give this same font size and here i'm just going to paste that one i'll just give here text align to be center i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here i'm having this output now from here i'm just going to remove this background color i'll just remove this background color and for this instead of this red i'm just going to give here black i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see this is our output we are done with this basic template this is only for desktop version okay this is just a basic template now if i just change the css variable to orange now if i refresh this one you can see everywhere that color will be changed you don't have to change separately everywhere the color will be changed and you will be getting this output suppose if i just change it to uh, cyan i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see everywhere the color will be changed okay so this is how we are going to use css variables these are very very useful only once you have to change the color and rest everywhere it is going to change okay now we are done with this basic template okay practice this one make your own templates just google it search for the templates practice that one code that one and you will definitely get how to design this kind of structures okay that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day